What's going on, YouTubers? Today we're going to run a test on um, some CPUs that I have that came out of laptops and some of some um, towers. You know, these are pretty much the lower grade of the processors versus uh, the ceramics. I do have the ceramics, but I prefer to use the hydrochloric acid and the nitric acid for those that will melt the whole thing but um let's uh... see what will work on these things these small processors are the AMD's and these are like the P4's you know the lesser grade of the processors uh, more of the um, fiberglass made nowadays and these do have like a little bit of gold on these pins but I just wanted to try the process uh, using the muriatic acid. Um, they do have some um, that, that lessens the smell. And just some regular household bleach. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, pour in um, to my vial. It'll be about a couple of milliliters of the muriatic acid and before you do this please please exercise safety always wear your safety equipment um, because this stuff is highly oxidized and once we mix the two it becomes a poison a very toxic cloud um, so let's exercise safety remember that All right. see the smoke coming from the muriatic acid and once I drop the bleach in which we don't need that much of now it's becoming very toxic now I'm going to take this into a ventilated area and set it down for about an hour or two We'll let it sit and we'll come back and check on the results. Been about an hour, and as you can see, let me kind of glad the light. Um, a lot of the pins and solder melted off of the pins, and the water or the the acid is um, is yellow. So, which is a good sign. So, what I'm going to do is just pour it out into this and refilter it back in. With a filter, about so, so I won't have to deal with all of the clunks. But we got to use uh, distilled water when, um, when we're doing this process. Okay, now uh, uh, get rid of these plastic gloves. Put on some super duty ones. Alright. Now, what I did was I filtered it through uh, it's about four filters. So, Filtered it all through there and sprayed it good. So that's out the way. Now the next step is to um, come with a substitute for it called Stump Out. 
can purchase this for about two or three bucks or two to five dollars at at any hardware store um, now we're gonna slow slowly put this inside of the hair it's gonna be a chemical reaction so try not to put too much but make sure you have a nice little backup cylinder to catch any liquid should be an instant effect Now when you add the stuff out, slowly, it should start to turn it into a solid. And this could take a little while. So, but it's got to darken up. As you can see what's happening now. Starting to darken more. It's going to turn into a mud. Whatever gold is inside of this bowl, it'll go to the bottom and the liquids will come to the top. It'll just be mud. Liquid gold mud, basically, they call it. And the stuff is toxic. Just add it until you keep getting Got some fizz in there I'm not adding much because the cylinder it can bubble all the way up over the cylinder so you just add a little bit at a time and once you're done feeding it Let it sit for a while. It may take um, 15, 30 minutes, an hour, or longer. Just let it all settle to the bottom. Well, it's still taking, still fizzing. But it turned into mud pretty quick. You can see at the bottom here, you can see. See that bottom? It's all gold mud down there. That's what we want. And floating inside of it as well. All of that is going to settle and it's going to be clear at the top with um, mud at the bottom. As you see the fizz, the fizz is still showing that it's a lot of gold to be made in this acid. So that's pretty much good news. It's going to make more mud. Alright, I'm going to let that settle for about, maybe I'll just give it about an hour, maybe 30 minutes until an hour, then we'll go on to the next phase.